guys, it's Val. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you have been here before. Today I have some new things from the drugstore which I'm super excited to talk about. I have been using them up for about a week or so now. And they are the Maybelline Total Temptation line, which there's a palette, there's a brow definer, and there's a mascara. So I'm really excited to talk about all of those, but first, and most importantly, I just want to say thank you for all of your support and watching my videos and encouraging me and leaving nice things in the comments and the few of you that have like messaged me on other social media ways to improve my videos I really really appreciate that I love constructive criticism I'm looking to make my videos as good as I can so if you have any suggestions please let me know don't think I'll be offended because I won't be it takes a lot to offend me but I have reached my 50 subscriber milestone that I'm super super excited about the fact that I even have 50 people that care about me is insane. So there is going to be a giveaway, as I mentioned in a previous video. I'm waiting on a few more orders to come in for things for the giveaway, and then I will film a video all about what's in it and what you could possibly win and leave the rules and all that stuff on there. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm excited. It's a lot of products that I personally love and want to share with all of you. So, that should be up in the next week or so. Probably next week. I should be getting the packages in the next, like, two days. So, that's exciting. But anyway, back to these Maybelline products. So, first of all, the packaging is really cute. It's like, I'll start out with the uh, brow product. This is their brow definer. And it's really, really sleek and nice pale pink packaging with the brown line. And this brown varies depending on what shade you get. So, I think that's pretty cool. I have it in the shade Soft Brown, which I am learning that when it comes to brown pro brown products, when it comes to brow products, Maybelline Soft Brown is my perfect shade. I've tried a bunch. I really like the Brow Wiz. I've tried some from NYX. I've tried, there's a really great one from Jordana, but the Maybelline Soft Brown is my shade. And I have like all of them. I have their just like precise one. I have their define and fill. So I had to try out this one. This one looks a lot like the brow definer from Anastasia. Uh, if you can see, it's thicker and it has that like pointed edges, which I actually enjoy. I think it's really multi-use type product. If you want to just swipe it across and kind of fill in quickly, you can definitely do that. But the sides are pointy enough that you still can get the precise hair-like strokes if that is what you're going for. This is definitely a thicker formula, if you can see. You really kind of have to push down, so that's what soft brown looks like. So you can get definitely hair-like strokes, or if you kind of just look into fill and go, you can get definitely get thicker filling as well. The only thing is the spoolie is like a little ball. And I don't really like that. This product I think is great. I'm wearing I'm wearing all these products today. I forgot to mention that. Um, but it's really flimsy. Like if you can see, it squishes super easily. And I like kind of a stiffer spoolie on my brow products, so I can really. My brows are kind of thick. Not like anything super unruly, but they're not super perfect either. So I really like something that's stiffer, so I can get in there and brush them all out. And this, I just feel like, didn't quite do it for me. So that's one thing. I hate when brow products either don't have a spoolie or have one that is not the greatest, like this one. Because then I end up reaching for a different product with a spoolie to do that. And then it defeats the purpose of trying to go quick and being efficient. So the product is great. The spoolie, not so much. I'll definitely keep using it because I like it. But as far as, like, traveling with it... I only want to take one brow product, so it probably won't be this one just because the spoolie isn't my favorite. So it's kind of sad. But definitely a good product. Next, there's a Total Temptation Mascara, the same kind of sleek, light pink packaging. I think the packaging is super cute on these, by the way. Um, I still have the box right here to read the claims on it. The claims say that 85% saw bold, full volume, no overload, on their lashes and that 92% saw lengthen lashes okay let me start out by saying that I really like this mascara I don't know if you can see I am wearing it today wow my eyes look crazy um but yeah I really like it. it's nothing extreme 
the wand it does have a, a strange brush to me I, I find it strange it's kind of fluffy but it's really like hard and pokey almost but I kind of enjoy that it's kind of random some um, of the bristles are longer than others and it's just a little little weird it looks like a little tornado or something uh, the formula is pretty thick but still watery if that makes sense uh, there's a lot to it but it is a little wetter of a formula however I think that this lengthens unbelievably the second you put it on my lashes just really do lengthen and it looks so much longer and I love that look but I don't like that they advertise that it's for volume as well because I notice absolutely no volume with this like I said I think it's great I really like how it wears it doesn't like flake off and fall off so I really enjoy it and I love the look I get from it but in my opinion it's definitely just a lengthening mascara and it does a great job of lengthening don't get me wrong but I don't notice any volume nope no volume so if you're looking for a super voluminous mascara it upsets me that that claim is on the packaging when in my experience the five or six times that I've used this I notice nothing of that sort so that's just something to keep in mind but I do really like it don't get me wrong and lastly we have this palette which is their total temptation which is upside down uh, shadow and highlight palette so it comes with eight shadows on the sides here and then two highlights in the middle this palette I'm not quite sure how I feel about it I keep using it I get decent looks with it but it doesn't really excite me I feel like you can't get too many looks so you have this kind of warmer side with light browns and like warm tone oranges if you can see it's a disaster these shadows have so much fallout it is insane and then my hair is all over it but on this side you have a little bit of cooler tones you have like a light mauvey shade and like a champagne shimmer and in the middle you have this incredibly purple lilac highlight and then a super gold highlight so you're definitely on two ends of the spectrum there it's okay the shades I tried swatching them because I wanted to pre-swatch and they're gone I literally swatched them the second I started filming this and they're just gone they do not swatch well the only one honestly that you can even see in a swatch is this black and it's not a complete matte black it does have some glitter particles in it which a lot of this do so if you don't like glitter you will not like this do not purchase it however I really like the way it looks on my eyes I've done like a warm toned look with this side with like a brown in the crease and then this gold shade but you can't do too much today I have see there's not many options there's not like a great transition shade to where you can get a lot of variance from it today I kind of have this all over because that's kind of the only option I had and then I have this purpley shade I don't think they have names no there's no names on them um, in the crease and then the matte black I kind of down the outer corner and then topped it all off with the shimmer shade it's really pretty it's nice natural sparkly lid but it's nothing spectacular I feel like you can get it with almost any other palette that you have and they are so messy like if you just go like this with a brush or your finger there's so much fallout the shimmers are pretty you can kind of see them not really they don't really catch the light too well on camera but the shimmers are nice if you like glitter it's not a sheen it is glitter there are glitter particles on your eyeballs so that's one thing to keep in common keep in common to keep in mind so those are okay you can get good looks with them I don't think they're the best I definitely think there are better options at the drugstore this was I believe $10.99 or $11.99 so it's not incredibly expensive but it's not super affordable either it's kind of in the middle however my problem with this palette comes in with these highlights I tried both of them even though I knew they wouldn't work for me first off these shades are so extreme you have to have a very deep skin tone I cannot pull off gold highlights that's just me because I'm a ghost and then this purple one it looks okay but it pulls so lilac on the skin that it's really hard I put a little on today and then I kind of went over it with my beauty blender again to kind of make it tone down 
they also have glitter in them so you will have glitter on your face and that's not a look that I enjoy or that I want or I just don't like that so I'm really kind of meh about this palette I think I will keep using it trying it out trying to get a few different looks but like I said you can either get this look or you can get this look there's no other shades to kind of throw in and mix it up a little bit which is sad you can use the highlights as lid shades if you wanted to I tried that but once again it just looks like glitter pretty much the same as the two shimmers so honestly I'd probably pass I think if you're gonna get something at the drugstore you're better off getting uh, from CoverGirl, the True Naked, there's like nudes and goldens and roses and jewels. Those are right at the same price point and those are amazing. You get great quality of shadows, a different variety, and I really, I, I love those. Those may be my favorite from the drugstore or I've recently fallen in love with the Milani, ah, I don't remember what it's called, Something Eyes palettes. I have it in Must Have Naturals. That palette is amazing. So there's definitely options out there. Overall, this line is okay. The palette, I will say, I like where it's going with the color scheme. I like that it's different than what we've been seeing. I like that it's not just warm tones because I feel like 2017 was the year of warm toned palettes. I like that it's kind of venturing into the pastel world. However, I just don't think they've nailed it quite yet, but I do give them props for trying something different and if they work on the formula and the color selection, I think they could have something really great there. Uh, the mascara, like I said, I really like. I don't like that it advertises volume when I don't see volume. And then the brow definer, the product's great. I don't like the spoolie. And I will say about the brow definer, if you have Maybelline products already, their brow products, and you like them, just stick with it. This is pretty much the same thing, it's just shaped differently. The formula is still there. It's good, but if you have the other ones, you don't need to run out and buy it. It's kind of a waste of money because you will get the same effect if you already are using their brow products. So that is all I have for today's... Why can I not talk? That is all that I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're interested in the giveaway as that video will be up in the very near future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.